Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I just wanted to cover the continued egregious and political um, actions of the FBI, their misconduct. The FBI has officially raided Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago um, <laughs> in what can only be described as insane, outlandish, has never happened before in American history that a former president has been raided by the feds. This is, of course, Banana Republic type shit. But just to give you guys a reminder of who we're dealing with, <laughs> this is this is the FBI, right? This is the Washington field office of the FBI. This is who you're dealing with. <laughs> Okay, like this is who you're dealing with. Look at the obese one. Oh my gosh, there's several obese ones. This is the kinds of people that you're dealing with. Look at the ridiculous giddy looks on their faces to take a knee for uh, criminals and domestic terrorists and domestic extremists. So yeah, you can't make this stuff up. All right, we are looking at a post here from Technofog. Um, the FBI has raided Trump's home Breaking news for a Monday night. President Trump announced his home in Palm Beach, Mar-a-Lago, quote, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents, turned out to be over a dozen feds. This was his statement. He says, these are dark times for our nation, as my beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. Nothing like this has ever happened to a president of the United States before. After working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. It is prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to to run for president in 2024, especially based on recent polls, and who will likewise do anything to stop Republicans and conservatives in the upcoming midterm elections. Such an assault could only take place in broken third world countries. Uh, sadly, America has now become one of those countries, corrupt at a level not seen before. They even broke into my safe. What is the difference between this and Watergate, where operatives broke into the Democratic National Committee? Here in reverse, Democrats broke into the home of the 45th president of the United States. The political persecution of President Donald J. Trump has been going on for years. With the now fully debunked Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, and so much more. It just never ends. It is political targeting at the highest level. Hillary Clinton was allowed to delete and acid wash 33,000 emails after they were subpoenaed by Congress. Absolutely nothing has happened to hold her accountable. She even took antique furniture and other items from the White House. Holy crap, she did. She took the silverware. Remember that, guys? I stood up to America's bureaucratic corruption. I restored power to the people and truly delivered for our country like we have never seen before. The establishment hated it. Now, as they watch my endorsed candidates win big victories and see my dominance in all polls, they are trying to stop me and the Republican Party once more. The lawlessness, political persecution, and witch hunt must be exposed and stopped. I will continue to fight for the great American people. It appears the FBI has since left his residence. Scoop. The FBI today executed a search warrant at, at Mar-a-Lago. Two sources confirmed to at Florida Paul. They just left, one source said. Not sure what the search warrant was about. According to the New York Times, a search has to do with materials taken home by President Trump after he left the White House. Quote, the search, according to two people familiar with the investigation, appeared to focus on material that Mr. Trump had brought with him to Mar-a-Lago, his private club and residence, after he left the White House. Those boxes contained many pages of classified documents, according to a person familiar with their contents. Mr. Trump delayed returning 15 boxes of material requested by officials with the National Archives for many months, only doing so when there became a threat of action being taken to retrieve them, unquote. The politics of the search cannot be ignored. If the New York Times is to be believed, Trump's purported crime, the delay of returning materials that may be classified, could have been resolved in another manner that didn't involve raiding his home and breaking open a personal safe. No doubt the search is an escalation by a desperate regime confronted by their own failures at home and abroad. 
What about the relation to the search of to January 6? I've gone back and forth as I've written about this, but it is certainly possible they were also after documents related to J6. There are no guarantees considering the politicization of Biden's DOJ, which has thus far protected friends in politics, the killer of Ashley Babbitt, supporters in academia, and the President Biden's own corrupt son. Yeah, <laughs> what a freak he is. One can be certain, however, that if the Biden administration will carry out this raid, then it will also be aggressive to pursue charges against Trump related to J6, as if there were any doubt. After all, last week there was reporting that a federal grand jury investigating J6 had issued subpoenas to the Trump White House counsel, Pat Cipollone, and his top duty, a deputy, Patrick Philbin. Perhaps the roadmap for the DOJ comes from the J6 committee, which has poured out the thin gruel of purported criminal charges against Trump, alleging he and others, including attorney John Eastman, could be charged with obstruction of an official proceeding and conspiracy to defraud the United States. Each of these counts, and really the DOJ's pursuit of Trump and his attorneys and advisors, amounts to the criminalization of politics. Arguments of law that might fail in the courts are now prosecuted prosecutable offenses. Attempts to delay a vote count based on novel and not corrupt interpretations of the law can put you in prison. Issues surrounding the counting of state results or whether the vice president can refuse to count electoral votes is a matter to be decided through the civil or political process, not through charges brought by vindictive political opponents. This must have been approved by Attorney General Garland. Not certain it got greenlit from POTUS or White House, contrary to Kilmeade claim below, but he does shed light on the purpose of the search. Brian Kilmeade says, just spoke to Eric Trump. Nothing in the safe. FBI agents, 30 approximately raided on behalf of National Archives. This is outrageous. Has to have come from POTUS and or someone in the White House. To shed further light on the purpose of the search, it's no other than DNC Clinton campaign attorney Mark Elias. The criminal law issue is 18 U.S. Code 2071. Those convicted of this offense will be, quote, disqualified from holding any office under the United States. That is indeed what this is all about, preventing him from running in 2024 because they're insane and they are terrified. So just a reminder, this is who you are dealing with. Do these people look like the world's premier law enforcement agency? No, we have been covering the manufactured Whitmer kidnapping hoax plot case um, since October of 2020, quite frankly, when it began. And uh, it's just continued to expose them. We have covered um, other aspects of their misconduct, their PatCon operations, uh, the COINTELPRO, I mean, really, since the beginning of the FBI's foundations with J. Edgar Hoover, they were always designed to be political. They were, from the beginning, collecting blackmail files on politicians to try to control and extort them. So this is no not surprising that they are continuing to act as a rogue criminal outfit. That is what they are. This is the modern FBI, no longer under the auspices of J. Edgar Hoover, uh, but now under Christopher Wray, who just took a lovely vacation <laughs> rather than having to answer questions about the FBI's misconduct, specifically the Whitmer kidnapping plot hoax. He said nothing about it because he knew he, had, he could say nothing. And that's not to mention the number of FBI uh, agents that have been um, recently arrested for things like child sex abuse, extortion, um, blackmail. One FBI agent told a, a wealthy woman, a woman who had inherited money, that she was on some kind of secret probation and she had to check in with him. He tried to get her to marry him and he had her paying all of this money that she didn't have to pay and all this crazy stuff. Like it, it just goes on and on. Two, two different pedophiles at the... Um, New Orleans uh, field office. One of them, of course, was in charge of investigating crimes against children. You couldn't make this stuff up, guys, even if you wanted to. It is just so outrageous. I encourage you all to look up an article on my website called uh, Corruption Chronicles, detailing all of the corruption of FBI uh, field agents because we're constantly told by people like Sean Hannity, scumbag that he is, wearing his little CIA lapel pin, that it's not the rank and file. 
Yes, it is. There is not one good among them, except the few that have recently come forward to blow the whistle about what they were trying to do to parents complaining at school board meetings and the whistleblowers that came forward to talk about how they were pressured by higher ups at the FBI to contrive cases of domestic terrorism and to label things as DVEs when they clearly were not to try to pad the numbers and meet quotas that were self-imposed by the FBI leadership and to manufacture these cases. Well, when you look at their website, the main people wanted by the FBI, not one is a right-wing extremist. In fact, most of them are left-wing extremists, but apparently white supremacy is the biggest threat facing our country, you know, so much so that they have to manufacture it. Whee!